Hey, what's going on guys? Back with another video, Jets franchise. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I'm getting pretty excited for this Jets. I just want to uh, take a moment is I'm a huge Bears fan and recently they traded Khalil Mack. Um, and I just want to give my opinion. I mean, I'm okay with trading the player. Um, I just feel they should have got a lot more back. Even as small as instead of a sixth round pick next year, like maybe a third or a fourth this year. But you know what happened? They got rid of the salary, which is fine. I'm curious to see what this GM does with the team. Um, I, I guess it's a giant complete rebuild. And uh, I mean, they're cutting people left and right, Goldman and, and Cohen. So I'm curious to see what happens with that. But that's all I really want to say about that. Again, I was fine with the trade. I just wished I got a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> now, back to the Jets. Okay. In the last video, as you guys saw, we, we lost our best player for the season. We lost Michael Carter. Broke his leg. So... So I went on out in free agency and Raheem Mostert was there who is 30. So he might go down next year. He's 85 overall. I actually was surprised he was there, but you know, the running backs don't really get signed that often because there's so many and it's, it's such an easy position to fill. And then I signed Matt Burita also. I'm thinking I might make Burita the starter because even if I do well with Mostert, he's he's 30, so he's most likely going to go down next year. He is started up. Barita is bronze. And we also have Ty Johnson, but Ty Johnson's a free agent, and I might just let him go. So I think Barita is going to be the starter. I was going to go with Mostert, but after thinking about it, um... I think I'm really going to go with Rita, just the youth, because I, I definitely want to do one, possibly one more season. And we shall see how this goes. And I could always switch to Mostert if I feel that way. And i going to switch all these other ones. They're dumb. I'm going to make him everything, you know? I know Johnson's been with us the whole time, and he's done so well. But I'm going to go with these guys. So remember, guys, like, share, and subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, comment down below what you think of the videos. Um, and do you think I should switch teams or keep up with the Jets or maybe start another one? Uh, I, I like your opinions. And... I'm really enjoying what I'm doing here, and I like some of your comments below. I appreciate the support. Okay, so upgrades this week. We have Austin, who we just got up to star development. I'm going to do his slot. He is a free agent after this year, but if he's playing well, I might bring him back. All right, guys, after um, practice, we did get some more upgrades. Zach Wilson. I think I'm going to do his scrambler. Upgrade some stuff there. Break sack. Plus one speed. Nice. Throw on the run. Those are things I like to do. Uh, Obi Melifano. He's our backup safety. Some awareness. TJ Green was our starting strong safety. Plus one speed for and some awareness. Yo. Now he's 92 speed, 93 acceleration. So awareness is still kind of slow. And then Michael Carter, believe it or not, who was hurt. Now we're ready for a week five matchup against the Steelers. Let's get it. He made the right decision to pull it down there. And he winds up picking up the first down. Nice pick. You know, last video, Mosley was debating retiring, so his rating went completely down. 
So I'm starting Cashman and Dawkins now. And just moving on, man. Put him on the trade block, see what he can get. Retire, then retire, but his rating went way down, man. He was just a superstar last year. Trying to run for it with Snell. Man. And he's able to get to throw. Ooh. Waiting for the pass rush, man. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Oh, man. I thought he was going to cut across. All right, guys. Offen on, on offense for the first time. That was a terrible drive uh, defensively. They got, they got me on that play that was my zone, but I thought he was cutting across and just made a mistake. All right. Again, guys, it's going to be tough losing Michael Carter. I tried to throw a lot with Wilson the first couple games. It didn't work, but maybe it's his time to shine. Oh, man, he dropped it. Oh! Get in the end zone. Yes, Davis, let's go. Worked him on that one. Yes, finally got him, Lawson. All right, guys, so we got them the punt after the pick six. Our defense playing lights out. Well, we did give up that first touchdown. But I adjusted some things on defense, and now we're back on offense. We need to get offense going. Oh, God, man. Double team TJ Green. TJ Green with a pick. Yes. Wow, I can't believe he threw it to double coverage. More. Oh my God, he showed blitz and pulled back. They got me, man. Oh my God. Jesus, man. Dude, I saw Minka over there, but he floated that like crazy. Like if he just, I, I did like a rocket throw and he floated it, he might have got him. All right, guys, just awful, awful throwing, I guess, on my part. But I thought, you know, I, I tried to do a rocket throw. I feel he's going with that. But we got to throw to score points. Davis this time got out of bounds. Right. Davis! Let's go! Right before half. Big time catch right there. Oh. Okay. Back on offense after the half. We scored right before the half. This is big. I'm going to just try to run it more. There you go, Burita. Fight for those jobs. Let's go. There we go. There's some great blocking counts in all. Oh my god. But he fought for it. Yes. Nice. Nice. 
sports. Here's Snell on third down. He's going to get the first. Throwing now is Kaepernick. Yes, someone got him. Lost it again. Cuffins, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense. Lost it again. Holy crap, who was supposed to cover that guy? I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even know what happened. Maybe you guys can explain it to me. I sent a blitz, but not those two guys. They were supposed to be in man coverage, and they came in at blitz, left the guy wide open. So I don't know what I have set the wrong way or what, but that was absolutely ridiculous. Nice. Mims, I like it. Nice run, Burrito. There we go, the tight end. Davis again. Butler. Oh my God! I can't believe he just got juked by Snow. Come on, man! He still's a scrub running back. Look at this, man. All right, guys. Terrible loss to the Steelers. Our defense played well, but I threw more picks, and their their defensive line just absolutely was destroying our offensive line. But here we are. We're in week six. We're now three and two. But Carl Lawson won defense AFC Defensive Player of the Week with four sacks, a forced fumble. And look what we have on the screen. A breakout player. Who do you think he could be? Comment down below. I'm hoping it's Carl Lawson. And beside, besides Lawson, I have no idea who else it would be. Let's see. You know, Coach. Oh, Davis. The more I think he's a superstar in the making. Did you see his touchdown last week? Keep an eye on him. Wow. Wow, Ashton Davis. Wow, two picks, forced fumble or a sack. Holy cow. All right, I was not expecting that one. Um, I don't know if we could do that. That was lucky I was usering him and just happened to lurk the quarterback. So we'll see what happens. Beat the Vikings and commit one or fewer. Okay. Now we got a cold opponent. I mean, I guess I'll go no fear, even though we're not killing it either. The Vikings are struggling. They're all players who have. Beat the Vikings. Hey, coach, I haven't been seen as productive as I was hoping this year. have player negotiations I mean Quentin Williams is a 90 but he does like nothing like he makes no plays whatsoever I don't I still can't decide if I'm gonna sign him All right, we got some upgrades Florence who was our um, rookie guard that we took I'm gonna definitely upgrade his strength or power. 
plus one strength, nice, plus one awareness. He's coming along. He's got hidden development, so 94 strength. He's a really good power run blocker. Wow, so plus one speed for Chris Westry, who's our fourth corner. He's 95 speed, 91 acceleration. Wow, his awareness though is awful. All right, no more nonsense. We got week six against the Vikings. We we definitely need this man. I want to try to go back to the run, but Elijah Moore wants receiving yards. We'll see what happens. We need to go out and get this win. Must win game. Oh, that was my spot. And that's taken in. I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full play. It was a TFL, right? You said you shrink the play, big time pickup for them. And now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get, my God, he like stopped on a dime, man. The field can, gets condemned. From the red zone now, Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. Trucks over him. The one time I blitz, they do a screen. Okay, just an awful start to the game. Uh, I don't even have any words. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. He's going to be dropped. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. There we go, more. Wow, that guy had some serious closing speed. They can't get upfield. Their job is to go ahead and get low. Ty Johnson back in the game. Raheem Mostert, for some reason, whenever I put him in there, he's completely exhausted in red. So he's going to get caught up. Nothing, guys. I'm playing the worst I've probably played in years. I don't know what's going on. Going interceptions left and right. Give him now, and it also brings up third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line might play guy in question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they take that type of result each and every time. Look the check downs, man. Push out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Now Wilson. Closing. This is Breda. Nice block, nice cut. Breda, let's go. Stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. All right, finally scored. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. On third and one, here's Cousins. Oh my God! This is a line. The Vikings will use the second of their timeout. To the air again, it's Cousins. Fifty-six. That's probably your zone, but you probably should want more the other way because there's only one guy on that side. Oh, I thought that he was going to go. There we go, Burita. Breaking tackles. Oh, Burita. Nice cut. Corey Davis. 
that becomes a one yard line. Now it's Wilson. More, let's go. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running side. Lawson got him. Nice. That leads to finding a way into the end zone. Ah, that's all right. That's all right. Davis. Oh, what a terrible throw. That should have been a touchdown. Yes. Oh, man. That was my guy. Again, it's Cousins. Lawson got him. He wants some separation from spot one and two. And this one is no good. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get high. Oh! Get in there, Verita. Game. Set. Match. I didn't even see him. I, I thought he was going to the red zone before he crosses. They'll throw again. Cousins. Who got him? These guys have to the line of scrimmage quickly. I know. I, I should have been there. And he is in to the end zone. And they had one final play in that one score game. We all. All right, so we didn't get Davis his superstar game. I thought it was silly anyway. Like he did nothing all year. He, I, I was controlling him and got a pick six, and then he gets a breakout game, where Carl Lawson has freaking like a 10, 11, 12 sacks in a year and doesn't have one. Okay, guys, we got the win, barely, but look at this. We lost Quentin Williams. Lost him, we just lost for four games, and Carter. I mean, we can't win here. But like I was saying before, Lawson has 11 and a half sacks, four tackles for a loss, and a forced fumble, and he can't get a breakout game. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, guys, not really what I wanted, but we at least ended it with a win. With a win. Make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Comment down below what you think. If we should keep the Jets or pick someone else. I do like the Jets, but I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction, so I do need to step it up. Thank you for tuning in. See you all in the next video.